Begin by dry fitting the drain. It may be necessary to trim the length of the drain and overflow pipes for proper fit. In this installation, the drain has been roughed in and the connections below the floor have been made as shown. The T is installed with the bottom compression nut tightened. Don't tighten the other nuts at this time. The pedestal is placed in the correct position and adhere to the floor with clear silicone. Note the clay in the drain and P-trap assembly. Use clear silicone to help keep the gasket positioned correctly. Use another bead of clear silicone on top of the rubber gasket to assure a watertight seal against the bottom of the tub. Attach the overflow pipe to the T, but do not tighten it yet. Carefully place the tub on the pedestal. On air baths, make sure that the air hose and water protector cables are not damaged or pinched. When the tub is properly seated in place, the drain chute can be aligned with the tub. Apply a bead of clear silicone under the waste flange as shown. Thread the waste flange into the drain chute and tighten with the suitable tool. Clean off excess silicone at this time. Make sure the gasket is seated properly and the overflow shoe is aligned with the overflow on the tub. Attach the overflow as shown, making sure that you don't over tighten the bolt. Attach the overflow cover and secure in place with the set screw as shown. Thread the stopper and clicker into the waste flange as shown. Tighten the joint connections and make sure that the upper ball swivel joint is tight before water testing your tub. For safety reasons, the check valve must be located a minimum of two inches above the rim of the tub. The air bath is designed to be operated with remote control that is included with your tub. The keypad can be wall mounted near the tub or left loose near the blow. 